So this year's conference is entitled Round Pegs for Round Holes and it's all about making sure that we have got the right kinds of roles and right people um, for the organisational strategy um, going forward. So it's a great time of change, uh, we've had Brexit, we've had a Scottish referendum, uh, we've got general elections that have triggered political changes, financial changes in the sector and so it's a time of great turmoil but I think we heard this morning from the Vice-Chancellor at Canterbury Christchurch that organisations can either respond to that very tactically in a short-term way or they can remain true to the values and their mission and their long-term strategy. So they still need to respond to the immediate changes in front of them, but it's about making sure that they're very clear what the vision is for the future and the culture is for the future. Once that strategy is clear and in place, organisations then need to reflect on do they have the right people and the right roles there to enable that strategy to come about. We've heard from the Vice-Chancellor of one of our member universities. We've run three breakout workshops on specific topics that, that people can leave with practical skills and experience. And we've also included a speaker from the Chartered Institute of Payroll Professionals just to get a different perspective. I think it's always very helpful to get someone who isn't necessarily pure HR so we get the kind of VC's input, but also the, the pay, uh, pay and grading side of things as well. And for the year ahead for ECC, um, I'm very pleased again that we're developing ECC online further. So we're looking at developing our competency framework tool within the software. And we're inviting members to work with us on that so that we can understand how you want to use it and how we can um, support that process. We're also rolling out a series of workshops, development days on international pay and uh, labour market data, which is a really hot topic at the moment and lots of uncertainties in there, um, again to do with Brexit um, and also uh, organisations that have got campuses overseas.